High School. Are you ready for the most epic assembly you have ever experienced? Very well. I have an important announcement to make. 2,000 years ago, since the birth of Hercules, a battle has taken place of worthy adversaries. Adversaries such as demons, an adversary such as the Bearcats, an adversary such as the Rebels. I have an, a message for these phonies. This is the land of the free and the home of the brave. But today, a new battle is born. Today, a, a drummer will battle against a DJ. But this isn't just any ordinary battle. You see, this is an epic battle. But not just an epic battle. This is an epic DJ drum battle! But before such a legendary battle begins, there must be a few rules that set in order. So, without any more further ado, -do, henceforth, the checklist!
let me hear you stand up on your feet. And let me hear you scream like only Braves can. Get up on your feet, come on. Well, hey, did you enjoy that? Was that like enjoyable? We are glad to be here. My name is Matt and uh, hi, I love you too. Um, I love you. I don't even know you, but I love you. Jeez. Uh, but hey, listen, on behalf a Principal Harold, the faculty and staff, we are honored to be here today with you. And we're gonna have some fun today. So uh, listen, I want to uh, maybe start off, don't, don't you guys think? I, I wanna start off with giving away some free stuff. I like doing that. Do we have free stuff here? Well, hold up. Now you gotta make them beg for it, okay? You can't just sit there and be like, can I have it? All right, so we're gonna continue on. Here we go, let's go. doing New Year's Eve. I already know you're not doing anything. I'm sitting in the basement eating chips. Well, listen, we have partnered with, and I don't know, how, how many y'all, uh, how many y'all are athletes in here? Do we have any athletes in here? Well, listen, we have partnered with your local FCA and uh, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. And what we did is we went ahead and we took over Newport on the levee all night. And uh, so that's GameWorks, that's Tom and Chi, that's AMC Movie Theaters, the Aquarium, the Bowling Alley, all night. We have it on lockdown. It's a time where you can dress up, get fancy, huh? Okay, and so, uh, so it's awesome. So hey, listen, where's Logan? Where's my man Logan? Logan, where are you at? Logan? Do you guys see Logan in the back? Logan wave? Well, hi, Logan. You guys, look at Logan's bicep. Can you wave again just a little bit? Thank you, wow. Thank you. Listen, Logan uh, helps lead FCA here at Grant County. And uh, if you want more information about Into the Night, uh, we'd love to have you be a part. It's gonna be a great time. And uh, so make sure you see him uh, at the end. And, uh, well, cool. So, here we are. Y'all are freshmen. Y'all are freshmen here at Grant County. Excited to be here. So awesome. And, and as you know, you know, fresh, I'm going to put this in right here because I see it's blinding some of you. You know, it's so great because freshmen are so great because all y'all girls are like 30 years old already. You, you act like 30-year-olds. And... Freshman boys just start, they just got their first chest hair, okay? They're like, shut up. Don't call me out. It's a long hair, okay? It's one, but it's a powerful one. <laughs> just pluck it, okay? Just pluck it, all right?
So I've got a question for y'all. <clears throat> what is, can anybody tell me what this is? Hold up. A calculator. Can anybody tell me what it? Come on, I'm, I'm gonna step down here. It's a what? It's a label, man. Can we get the house lights on? I just wanna see everybody's face. Where's their bat? You get the house lights, hi, whoa. All right, hi. A label maker, right? And it makes what? Great job, great job. For those of you that said it was a calculator, you know, I feel sorry for you, but it makes labels. And I made some labels here today. I made some labels here today. And uh, I wanna see if some of y'all can, like wanna put these on if this is you. And I'm gonna have you, okay, so let's just take a look here. Um, okay. Do we have, oh, th now this is Grant County all the way here. Do we have a redneck at all in here? Where are my rednecks at? Where's my redneck? Okay. He's got the flannel on. He's got it. He's like, yeah, absolutely. Oh, wait, hold up. Look, he's got the boots on. I mean, come on now. Woo. Oh, whoops. Where's he at? There you go. Go ahead and put that on for me. Okay. All right, let's see what else I got here. Okay. Okay, do I have any prep? Do you have any prep? People around prep? Do you have any prep? Oh, there you go. Go ahead and wear that. There you go. It's like, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, do we have any, uh, okay. Let's see, do we have any jocks in here? Do we have any jocks? Where are my jocks at? Where I'm looking for a muscle bound, you know, oh yeah, right? Look at this, this guy's a jock, right? He's, let's kind of, let me, there you go. There you go, put, put that on proud. All right. Do I have any emo? Do I have any emo kids? Yeah, there you go. It's for you right there. Proud. Okay, now what? I'm, look, I'm looking for, where are my geeks at? Where, where get your geek on. Where, where are my geeks at? This is, first of all, why are you even admitting to be me, 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 me? All right, look at this. This is right here for you. It's, it's perfect. Put it on. All right, now hold up. Now this is a very serious question. Where are, where are my where are my bronies at? Do you, now, now hold on. Explain this. Now this is true. Hear me. This is true. For those of you that don't know, I'm gonna explain this. I, I didn't realize I said brony and the whole crowd would go nuts, but if you don't know, I'm about to tell you what it is. A brony is a young man and or an older man that is obsessed, this is true, with My Little Pony. Right over here. Yes. I see. Dude, I can tell. I, just pass that down to him for sure. That's totally you. That's totally you. I'm out of labels. But... Uh, so, broke up my hand this to you right here. As you take those labels, go ahead and slap them on, just kind of slap them on yourself, wear them proudly. And I'm going to get into this in just a second, but. I wanted to again introduce myself. My name is Matt, and um, hi. Um, and I've got I've got a beautiful wife and two kids. Can we show Can we show them up here? Boom! There she is. Do we have any other pictures? Do we have Do you have a picture? There they are. Come on now. There, that's Miles. And that's Judah. And uh, so we've been in this area for nine years and we love it. 
And uh, we've been to a couple of other high schools um, in the area. And so, hey, listen, today I'm going to talk to you for real because I just, I really believe um, in this generation of students. I believe that this generation, you group of students, uh, are, I believe, one of the greatest generations to walk on the face of the earth. And so I believe uh, in who you are and uh, who you're meant to be today. And my big question today, my big question for all of you today is, and you don't have to answer this out loud, but I know some of you will, so I'm already calling you out. Who, who has the right to label something? That's my question. Who has the right to label something? Now let's just pause for a second. Just hold on one second. Let's, let's just talk about this. Shh. Because what, what, what kind of, what kind of, uh, what, what kind of coat is that? What? Huh? It's leather. Who made it? Huh? You don't, who, who, who's wearing something that's got, who's wearing something that's got a label on it? Where, where, where's my, where's my, who, who's wearing a label? Come on. What's your, no, your tag, your tag. What? I need some tags. What, what's somebody wearing in this house? What? Adidas. So hold up. I think somebody just had a hernia there. Oh, oh, oh help. But listen. Listen, I'm about to get into this right here. But three people, three kinds of people have the right to label something. Number one, it's the manufacturer. So if you make something, then you have the right to put the label on it. Second type of person is owners label things. Owners label things, right? Uh, you know, if you own something, if you own something, then you have the right to label. How weird would it be if I walked through your house with a label maker? I just, I just, you know, I walked around. I was like, I saw your dog. I was like, dog. And I just slapped that label on it. And I went around and I saw a lamp in your house. And I was like, lamp. I love lamp. I'm just going to put a, you know, I really do love the lamp. And I'm just going to put a label on that lamp. And you would be walking around your house saying, uh, Excuse me, like, what, what do you, this is my house. I'm like, yeah, no, I know, I'm just labeling stuff. You're like, yeah, but you're not the owner of these things. Even though I, I may be calling it outright, I don't have the right to walk into what you own and label your stuff. And the third type of person that can label things is the purchaser. How many of y'all have been in baseball when you're in Little League or, uh, you know, you played a sport where you had to have, maybe it's a, you know, a, you know, a hockey stick or maybe it's just like a really nice book bag and, you're, and your dad hands you the giant Sharpie marker and what does he tell you? He says, write your name on this thing because you purchased it and you have the right to put a label on it. So, and again... This is a rhetorical question. I think you just need to answer this in your head because I'm really going to want to get into this uh, pretty deep today. But I think each and every one of you need to ask this question as you go through your freshman year and as you continue on uh, throughout your entire high school career. Listen to me. This is a game changer. Please hear me. Who has the right to label you? Because we all have labels. Each and every one of you, you've walked in here with labels. I remember, you know, when I was in sixth grade, and uh, for whatever reason, I was the funny guy. You know, I, I wanted to be the funny guy, and so everybody labeled me the funny guy. So I would walk into school, and if I wasn't funny, and if I didn't live up to my label, then I felt like somehow I 
had failed. So I was like constantly trying to live up to this label uh, that, oh, I got to be funny. I got to be fun. Man, if I'm not funny, then man, I'm a nobody. You know, and some of you are trying to live up to, oh, if I'm a, if I got to be prep. And if I don't have this, then I'm, then I'm not going to have the right label. And you're trying to live up to the label that maybe other people have given to you. You all have labels. That's, that's, that's a non-negotiable. You all have labels. I remember then, finally, when I went to high school, my brother, uh, he played football, and, uh, and he kind of walked like this. He had, a, he had a foot off to the side, you know? And so whenever he ran, he would run like this. And he was a little, he wasn't as tall, but he was like one of those guys that was super, like, stout. And if he hit you in football, he would hit you under the chin, and it was off. He was the type of guy you never wanted to get tackled by, but they called him Duck. Right? They called him Duck because his foot was off to the side. And I remember uh, going into football, and I was a lot bigger than my brother. And there were guys, you know, football, their name was like Shark, you know, and like Laser, you know, and like Captain, you know. And I'm like, oh, snap, I'm big, you know. I Here I go. I'm going to, you know, have a name. And so the coaches are out there, and they're like, like who is that person over there? And, and uh, they said, oh, coach, that's Jones's brother. But I called him Jones's brother. You mean Duck's brother? Wow, you're a lot bigger than your brother, son. I was like, yeah, man, yeah, whatever, you know. <laughs> and I was waiting for the name. I was waiting for the label. And they said, hey, what's, what's bigger than a duck? Goose. And I remember, I remember feeling that label hit me. And how many of y'all know, you know, you're on football and it's just like, look out, here it comes. The goose is going to get you. <laughs> it's like, hit you with my neck. You know, it's like, what, what's a goose going to do? Just, you know, just hit you with its neck. I don't know. So I was goose. And then I remember, then I remember. You know, now, 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 now you might go through this. I went through this my freshman year, but some of y'all guys, uh, you guys are hopeless romantics, aren't you? Y'all, y'all, y'all try to set it up. You see some cute girl and you're like, man, here's what I'm going to do. And you set up all this stuff and you try and win her. I remember when I was a freshman. Now, listen, I'm going to open. I'm going to open myself up to you. Now, watch. I'm going to open myself up. I'm going to open myself up. If you judge me, shut up. I'm gonna, you know, you're you're going to exit my life. But I'm going to open myself up. All right, you ready? So I went through this big phase. Shut up. <laughs> I went through this big phase where I was really like deeply thinking about life. And I was like writing poetry. And shut up. <laughs> Shut up. You, you know the guy I handed the redneck thing to? He's like, ha, ha, ha. he's writing poetry at night, you know, by candlelight. I know that. All right, man, that's stupid, man. I don't really like, oh, you know, you're... You got a song on in your room, and I would do anything for love. That's, that's what redneck's doing. But I won't do that. He's got a tear, you know. I know you, uh, but I remember there was this girl. Now, now, guys, let me hear let me hear you a little bit because this happens all the time, girls, and you do this all the time. I'm just gonna speak for a guy, and then he, like, you know, you know, he's totally like he knows who you are. You know, he's been in your childhood before. He really, really knows you. And then all of a sudden, you girls friend zone him like what? And he's your best. We're best friends. The guy's like, friend zone like what? And so I remember I had this girl and I was really, I was really deep. And I wrote this like four page front and back, single spaced like letter, you know. And I handed it to her, and I was like, Doo. you know, and this is what I'm thinking in my mind. This is what I'm thinking, is that she's going to read it, and then it's going to be like a stormy, you know, it's going to be like a stormy night or whatever or something, and then you're going to hear this, doo, 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 doo. I'm going to open the front door. She's there, you know, rain, your hair's all rained down, and she's holding the letter in her hand, you know, and you're like, what? She doesn't say anything. She just 
grabs your face and just gives you just like a huge kiss, you know, just like, just like, just one of those. That's what I'm thinking in my mind. I'm like, it's happening, you know, it's just going to happen. Three days later, no contact. And this is how you know it's bad. She doesn't approach you. Who approaches you? The friends. Hi. Julie read your letter. And you're like, oh, no. The friends are looking at each other. She thinks, here's the next label. She thinks that you're a stalker. So first I'm the funny guy, then I'm Goose, then I'm a stalker because, you know, a guy can't ever get into poetry, shut up. And you know, and so now I'm a stalker. And you know, and then, you know, and then I remember, you know, I went in and, and some of you, you know, some of you get labels from your friends, some of you get labels from somebody else. I remember I was in AP chemistry and my AP chemistry teacher, you know, she, you, believe me, you'll learn what AP chemistry is later. And, and I was, you know, taking AP chemistry and my teacher, she had the voice of an angel, but she had the heart of evil. You know what I'm talking about? And she, and she was, she would come up to me and she would say, You're never going to amount to anything in your life. Ever. You will be a nobody. <laughs> your voice is so sweet, but you're totally destroying me right now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to think about this. And so, 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 so then what was the next label I got? I was a failure. I was a failure. And so, and so let, me, let me ask you these things. Do you think... That these labels impacted the way that I carried myself throughout my high school career? The answer is yes. Yes, because most of us live our lives with regards to the labels in which you're given every single day by other people. So you, 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 you feel like you fail if you don't live up to your labels. And you feel like a loser if somebody calls you a certain thing, and labels are powerful things. Do you know what labels do? They, they lock you in and lock opportunity out. Those of you that maybe you got a label a long time ago when you were in middle school, maybe it was a teacher, maybe, maybe it was a coach, maybe it was a friend, and they just said, man, you're just kind of dumb, and you, and you just kind of accepted that label, and you didn't allow the opportunity to do better, to be better, you just gave up. So consequently, here you are, Grant County High School, and you've already given up, and you've given up not because you, you are dumb, not because you are what people say that you are, you've given up because somebody gave you that label, and so you believe what people say about you. Now listen, I, I, need, I need to talk to you today because this is very very important. I talk to young people every single week, and one of the craziest things I always talk to them about is this, is being bullied in the, I call it the silent genocides of social media. Now listen, hear me, hear me right now. We have young people all across America it's not a joke. It's not funny. It's not, wow, you told them. We have students committing suicide, ending their life simply because of a label that somebody else puts on somebody. Because this is what happens. This is what happens. I, I, need, I need somebody to go. Can you come up here? She says, oh, hold on, what about your friend? Yeah, come up here. Come on. Hi. What's your name? I'm Alan. Alan. Come on, come on. What's your name? Haley. Haley, Haley. Say hi, Haley. All right. 
And now, now here's the deal. Now here's the excuse. Oh my gosh, dude. This. Wow. All right, come. All right, come here. All right, so let's just get real here. Let's, can we get real? No. Can we get real a little bit? Okay. Let's just. Do you have an Instagram? No. Okay. Do you, do you have, hold up. Do you, do you have a Twitter? No. Do you have a Facebook? Yes. Okay. Do you have an Instagram? Yeah. What's your Instagram name? Um. Is, is, it, is it a bunch of emojis and no. what is it? Haley underscore Gifford 2. Haley underscore Gifford 2, okay. Do you have a Twitter? Yes. Do you have a Facebook? Yeah. Okay. All right. How well, let's, let's just, can we just talk for a second? How well do you know him? Not very well. Let's just, let's just get real. Forget them, whatever. All right, yeah, exactly. For, just, just really, first impressions, what are your thoughts about him? Nice. <laughs> what else? What, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think he probably does in his spare time? Play video games. So, plays video games. All right, you ready? First impressions. Nice. <laughs> what, do, what, do you think, what do you think she does in her spare time? Basketball. Good, good job. They're teaching you a lot. You can read. I'm so proud of you. You're, that's like fourth grade level. All right, so. Let me, let me ask you this. What do you think she's been through in life? Things involving basketball. Man, that's insightful. What, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think that he's been through? I don't know. You don't know. That's not, but, but what do you think? Just take a guess. Just, just take a guess. Um, hanging out with friends. All right. Okay, hold on. This is my point. These two, they both have Facebook pages. Many of you have Instagrams. Many of you have Facebook pages. And here's what happens. Shh, listen. You never really see a person face to face and you never really talk to a person face to face and everybody in your world is an Instagram page and everybody in your world is a Facebook page and you feel like you can weigh in and comment on anybody's life when you don't even know their life. You've never had one relational conversation with this person and yet you feel like you're allowed to weigh in on their life and you don't even know him and you don't even know her. I'm talking know them. I'm talking what's their household like? What's their parents like? What have they been through? And you think that you can just say, well, they're just weird or they're just that. Well, they're just emo or they're just all these things. You haven't had one real conversation. I know them. You know a Facebook page. You know an Instagram page. You never sat down with them at lunch. You never got the real story. And this is what I know about young people. And this is what I know is going on. All of you come into school and you walk around and you all have a face and that's wonderful and that's great. But this is what I know, that there's a lot of you, listen, shh, there, there's, there's a, you put on the face, you know, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Cool. Good. 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 General answers. But there's a lot of things Every single one of you, you're deep people, you're interesting people, and, and, and when you get to know somebody for real, not just weigh in on an Instagram page, not just label somebody because of a mistake they made, because of a rumor, and you think you can weigh in on somebody's life online and take no responsibility for what you say and how you say it about them because you didn't take the time to sit down and talk to them. Do you understand that these two people, these amazing people, they're human beings. They are not a Facebook page. Page. They're not an Instagram page, and you don't have the right. You didn't buy them. You didn't make them. You don't own them, so you don't have the right to label them at all. They're human beings. She's not just a basketball player. He's not just nice. These are people. These are people. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, 
So, so listen. You don't have the facts on somebody's life. I remember, you know, I was talking with a young person uh, just this week, and they said, hey, can I talk to you, you know, um, due to bullying? I've been, I, I, you know, super, super amazing young woman. She's like, I've been, I've been really, tears streaming down her face. She says, I've been having trouble. I've been cutting myself. And, um, and two days ago, I attempted suicide. And I said, well, why, why would you do that? And she said, well, I made a mistake, and some of my friends are saying that I'm this, they're saying that I'm that, and I just don't know how to take it, and I just, I just decided that I'm just going to take off school. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, every time, you know, I'm in class, you know, they're kicking my desk, they're kicking my table, I feel afraid, and I'm like, well, why don't you just go to the, the teachers and to the administration? She's like, I have, but it's really hard to pinpoint what this person's doing and what's going on. And I said, you know what I told her? I said... Well, then go to the police. Because you know what? Because you know what? Honestly, those of you who don't think it's a big deal, you don't understand why that person isn't at school. And even one comment, you weigh in on their life. You know what I think needs to start happening? Is somebody that is being bullied, yes, you've gone to the principals. Yes, you've taken those steps. But if somebody can't control themselves and somebody, you know, because I always say this. I would almost rather be beat up because you can put a Band-Aid on me, you can put stitches on me. That is there any band aid for emotional trauma? You can't really stitch that up. There's there's no band aid for the assassination of somebody's character all throughout high school. And so some of you, you think it's no big deal, but literally you are beating somebody up and almost to death and some students to death around the nation because you don't feel like you have to have a responsibility to see the person across from you as a person. Bullying is real. And you know what? I, I want to speak to all you today. You go to a principal. You go to a faculty member because that's what they are here to do. They love you. They care for you. My, both my parents were educators. And I'm telling you, you can't be an educator if you don't love young people. You're, you're all the people that surround you. They're your team. They're trying to make you better. They're here for you. And if you are being bullied, don't you dare spend another minute being afraid, being scared. And if beyond that it can't happen, then some of you that are bullies deserve to be talked to by the police because you can't control yourself. And I think it's that serious because it's not just like people are upset. It's not just like people are crying. People are dying across the entire nation. This is not a joke. This is not something to be taken lightly. These are people. And you don't know what happened. I got students that come up to me. Their dad overdosed on heroin. They don't have a dad anymore. And you think you can make fun of this dude. You've got your parents, and he doesn't have a dad. So he goes home every day having to deal with that, having to you know, not have a dad to talk to. How dare you label him for the rest of his high school days as weird when you don't understand his story? And I promise you, if we stood everybody up and said, wow, you know, I can't, you know, a pretty young girl stands up. She's like, yeah, my mom was a prostitute. I'm like, what? She, she left me on the, on the steps uh, at a hotel for two weeks and the police had to take over. But you know what? I'm glad because I am who I am today because, you know, my mom left me on the steps of a hotel. And I look at some people in here. Oh, yeah, you know, that's funny. That's great. But you know what? I'm telling you, I'm telling you. People have some real stuff going on. And we need to be a generation of students that are not going to just assassinate people's character. You better get in their world and you better understand that somebody is not just a label. They are a human being. Stop hiding behind your Facebook pages and, and sniping people with comments. Stop hiding behind your Instagrams and just destroying people. Stop Snapchatting gossip. Stop, stop, stop. And I'm going to tell you why here in a second. I'm closing with this. I'm closing with this. There was a genocide years ago called the Rwandan Genocide, the Rwandan Genocide. Some of you may have heard of it, some of you might not have. This happened in 1994, 20, uh, uh, yeah, 20 years ago, 20, 20 years ago this happened. So this is not like, oh man, this is some ancient history. This is 20 years ago this happened. It was a genocidal mass slaughter of the Tutsi and moderate Hutu in Rwanda by members of the Hutu majority. During the approximate, this is in 100 days, from April 7th, 1994 to mid-July, 
1994, an estimated, listen to this, 500,000 to 1 million Rwandan people were killed, constituting as much as 20% of the country's total population and 70% of the Tutsi living in Rwanda. These are babies. These are moms. These are dads. These are teenagers. These are people, man. And you know what happened? It was something very simple that happened. Is that this tribe convinced other people that this other tribe, they started calling them a label. They started calling them cockroaches. Cockroaches. They're just co- they're not human. They're cockroaches. They're cockroaches. Stomp them out. They started handing little children guns, and children would shoot their families because they taught their kids they're cockroaches. They're cockroaches. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. They're cockroaches. What? They didn't have the right. Labels are powerful things, so powerful that a million people died because somebody could look at a person, not as a person, but as a cockroach. And some of you just need to understand that some of you have made mistakes and some of you aren't the labels that everybody's saying that you are. You're not that. Stop trying to live up to it and let's stop acting like we own each other. You don't own anybody and you'll never own somebody for, for forever. You won't do it. Slavery is dead. It's over. It's done. You don't have the right. And I want to speak to you today because you're freshmen. You have the chance to get this right. You have the chance to get this right. And some of you just need to make a change right now. You need to make a change in the way that you talk to each other. You're human beings, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. We love you. Your faculty loves you. Come on. Grant County, you guys have an amazing school. We've been all around Boone County and all these other schools. You have an incredible school. You have an incredible opportunity. But stop labeling each other. Let's put down, let's, let's stop saying, oh, I don't sit with them because they're, you're labeling. You don't own them. And the moment labeling stops is the moment we can put an end to bullying. The moment you don't just see, don't weigh in on somebody's life. You don't even know them. You have no idea. And if you got to know them, you know when I get to know people and maybe they're a little off, maybe they're a little weird, and I find out their story, they're like, you know what I always say to myself? My gosh, I'd probably be way worse than them. And you start to respect them. You're like, man, after all they've gone through, wow. So, you are approaching the age where you are no longer little kids. You are adults. You know what happens if I harass somebody as an adult? I go to jail. I go to jail. So you are young men. You are young women. Let's stop acting like children. Let's be respecters of humanity in this room. I believe in this generation. Your administration believes in you. Can we just can we just go ahead and shut off our phones? No. No, honestly, seriously, hey, listen, 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 listen. Every single one of you, I just need to ask that question. The next time somebody tries to, who has the right to label you, you need to rip that label off. That's not who I am. I'm sorry, that's not who I am. I'm sorry, that's not who I am. And those of you living with with horrible labels that somebody's put on you, can I just go ahead and just release you of that today? You're not that. They don't know you. They don't, they, don't, they don't have the facts. They don't have the story behind your life. It's time for you to rip off that label and throw it on the ground. It's time for you to stop living behind a word. You're not a redneck. You're not emo. You're not a prep. You're not those things. You are a person. You're an incredible person. And 
I believe that this freshman class has the chance to get this thing right. So can we do this today? Can we do this today? Can we begin to start making amends? Hey, listen, maybe some of you need to be man enough or woman enough to go up, go up to a person and say, hey, I'm sorry that I said those things to you. I don't know you and I was wrong. Some of y'all just need to be big enough to stand up and say that. I'm sorry. That's not who you are. So hey, here's what we're gonna do. Y'all ready for something fun? I'm gonna invite my team out here. They got one last thing for y'all that's gonna blow your mind. Are you guys ready? Wait, here's, here, where's, where's my man at? Hold on, thank you. Where's my man at? Come here. Where's my man? Where's, where's, is Alex? Alex, hi. How many of y'all love the man bun? Can you see the man bun? Come on now. Be prepared to have your mind blown. Are you ready? Black it out, let's go. Fix it, trash it, change it, mail upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, burn it, rip it, drag it, drop it, zip, unzip it, plug it, fill it, call it, find it, view it, code it, jam, unlock it, search it, scroll it, pause it, click it, close it, crack it, switch, update it, chain it, rate it, tune it, print it, scan it, send it, text, rename it, touch it, bring it, pay it, watch it, technologic, one more time. <laughs>
Administrator to come up. We love you guys. Thank you guys for having us out today. And uh... wow, Grand County freshmen, that is one powerful message that you heard today. How about another hand for Seven Hills? <laughs> <laughs> 